MRIs for conditional and non-conditional MRI right. uh, face makers. So, right, very um, different process for us, but it's probably kind of similar. Like, mm-hmm. right, a lot of times when a patient hears MRI, they immediately think that they're not, uh, you know, eligible to have that if they have a pacemaker. But a lot of times they still are. Right. Uh, a um, lot of the studies were mostly from like 2011. Is kind of when they started doing all the broad studies uh, for this. Um, and because a lot of the problems they saw with devices were earlier devices. So um, anything prior to 2002 actually uh, were the devices they saw issues in. Oh. Because since then, all of the production that they've done in first, like all of the device companies have been geared towards MRI-compatible devices because all of our devices are put into most mostly older adults right? or, you know, transplant candidates. Now it's pretty common that a lot of our transplant candidates, they need cardiac MRIs. Right. So they've just gone ahead because initially it, it used to be controversial, controversial between, you know, Medicare reimbursement, stuff like that. They didn't put in MRI because they said as, as like an accessory that they didn't really, something they didn't need. Right. So it was cheaper to not put in a conditional device initially. But now that's uh, what all of the device companies have kind of gone to is doing these conditional devices. It's more the standard of care now. And I'm glad you're covering that because that's the question I had for you. So um, what you're telling me, and I guess from what you just said, what my takeaway is that anything 2002 and newer is MR compatible. Com- Not everything, okay. no. So um, it's prior to 2002, it, we would, that's kind of a hard stop for us. Um, granted, now, um, and with leads... Oh, Leads yeah. are kind of different. So if it was a device itself, like the CAN, the pacemaker or defibrillator, if it was before 2002, that's a hard no. But right. devices last like at the most 13 to 14 years. Most of those devices or batteries are dead anyway. So that's not an issue now. Um Leads, leads are a little different. Leads would be okay. The reason that the issue is with the can is because in the older devices, they used to use a different uh, magnet function. So before oh. the, um, 2002, they used what was called a reed switch, which was inside a, de- a device. So when a magnet was applied to it, it would be a switch that would change what the function of the device did. Now it's a sensor. So that reed switch in the early days would get stuck. So the reed oh. switch would get stuck in this magnet mode and there was nothing we could do with Fixed these there. devices. Yeah. So we don't have that issue anymore. The reed switch is, is out. <laughs>